Hello everyone, my name is Felix Gonzalez and I'm just here to make a video talking about Christ and G you know Jesus what he what he done what he's done for us. Naturally, we're all sinners. We are we've all lied. We've all have stolen. We've all have looked at a person with lust. And by that we've already, you know, to a holy God we're sinners but God loved us so much that he sent his son Jesus Christ on earth the man the form of man God in the form of man I'm sorry and on the cross he died for our sins he carried all the sin of the of the world in his heart and Whoever believes in him shall have eternal life. But one must, to have salvation, one must deny themselves, be born again through Christ, and not go back to their old ways. After that, you're not part of the world. You're living for God. You're living for Christ. And he offers you eternal life. I can't imagine how awful it'd be for the, you know the day of judgment when he's judging so many souls and he judges you know he'll be judging souls and then the words you hear it are depart from me i never knew you like how sad truly how sad would that be many people just think by believing in him i'm sorry by just acknowledging him and, you know, saying, yeah, I believe in God. Yeah, I believe in Jesus. We'll be saved, you know. But that's not it, really. You have to truly repent of your old ways, you know. Truly ask for forgiveness. And, he, and you know, mean it by your heart that he's your Lord and Savior. And he will grant you eternal life. He'll baptize you with the Holy Spirit. By We're not saved by our good works or by being a, ver a good person we're saved by his grace and that and by and his grace is what he's what he did for us on the cross you know me growing up i was a christian and i mean i i would i would identify myself as a christian but i would never live my life for him i would you know during high school i would always talk about god with my friends they would get annoyed a bit but i would still continue doing you know, stuff that wasn't pleasing God. For example, you know, I was prideful. You know, I was very, I was, you know, going out and about with girls and stuff, thinking, you know, that was like the cool thing to do. But really, that was, that just left me empty, you know. Like, I guess, I, I don't, I hate bragging about myself, but I guess, you know, I was well known in high school. And I thought I was, you know, I was everything. I wanted to be like that. Because when I was a freshman, I would see, you know, the people older than me. And I'd be like, wow, I want to be like that. I want to go to, the, I want to go, I want to be the popular kid, I guess. You know, I want to go to parties. I want to do all this. But once I got to that place, it was, I was just empty. Like nothing was fulfilling that. And, you know, I went, you know, I joined, I joined the gym, but I was still self-conscious about myself. I was, you know, I was just very insecure. And honestly, high school, high school, my high school years were probably one of the most depressing years of my life. <laughs> like I was just trying to, you know, get myself accepted by others, but that doesn't matter. You know, we're all human. We're, if anything, we're all, you know, trying to, we're all basing ourselves off someone else's image, I guess, if that makes sense. Like, we're trying to get accepted by someone that's not there. And thinking that's everything. I don't know how to explain it, but when really we're just all the same. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to you guys real quick, I'll give you a story. You know, 2020 was probably one of the worst years of my life. But I'm thankful for that because I've learned through it. You know, every day I get, I, I enter that, I enter that year sad and depressed, 
you know, we were already, I was already going to graduate high school and I was scared because I didn't know what I was going to do. And when quarantine hit, I just started smoking every day. It was my way of coping through stuff. And, you know, since, since I grew up, you know, identifying myself as a Christian, many people know about the end of days. Well, in the Bible, it talks about the end of days and how the coming of Jesus Christ and how he's going to, you know, the rapture and how he's going to come for his church. And I already, many people can, can agree that we're living in those days. You know, the pandemic last year, the, the, the wildfires, you know, the locusts, the killer bees, all that, you know, earthquakes, famines, like, it was just too much for the world to handle. And in the Bible, it talks about those things, you know, those things being fulfilled, those things being prophesied and being fulfilled. I already repeat myself. But, you know, and so I was scared. I was scared, you know, like I believed in God. And my fear was, you know, for Jesus to come back any day and and I would still be on earth, here on earth when the rapture would happen. Like, that's just heartbreaking in my opinion. And my way of coping through stuff through all that was was smoking but even then i knew that i wasn't doing you know good like it wasn't bringing me any happiness like i was you know again you know using it to cope that was one, that was my only way of socializing with people really and i just got tired of it and one time i just told my friend i'm planning to stop smoking because i know what i'm doing is not is not right in God's eyes, you know. And the Bible says to stay sober-minded. No altering of the mind. No drunkenness. And when you're smoking, you're altering your mind. You're like, you're, um, you're not you, really. You're not in your senses. And with that same friend, I told him, maybe you should start reading the Bible. You know, we we're just talking. So, Because we were always talking about God when, it, when we would get high. And he ended up reading the Bible, and quickly I saw a change in his life. And I'm like, bro, glory to God, that's amazing, you know? But I was doing the opposite. And one time I went to the mall in Thanksgiving, and this one guy, he approached me. It's there's those people that talk to you about God. And I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to talk to him, you know? And then he asked me, like, he asked me these questions, you know? Have you, have you lied before? And I said, yeah, everyone has. You know, have you stolen before? I'm like, yeah, I've stolen before. And he's like, have you ever committed murder? I'm like, nah, I've never committed murder. <laughs> I I know for a fact. And he said, well, did you know that when you hate out of your heart, you can't, you're cutting a person off, and you you want nothing to do with them at all. That's that's you're you're not committing murder physically. You're committing murder spiritually. You know, through a heart. I'm like, okay, I I see that. You know. And he said, have you ever looked at a, per, had a person with lust? I'm like, yeah, I have. Everyone has before. And then he told me, well, just by that, you know, do you think God, you know, when he judges you, do you think you'll be going to he heaven or hell? And I told him, I knew for a fact I was, I was going to go to hell. <laughs> and, and I told, but I told him, well, honestly, everyone, you know, everyone's not perfect. I try to be the best person as I, as I can. And he said, well, yeah, but, you know, just by doing good works, it's not going to, you know, it's not going to make it. It's not going to cut it. And then he said, but you know what God did? That he loved us so much. And that he giving us, he kind of, he basically is giving us a second chance. Uh, I told him, yeah, you know, uh, he sent Jesus, Jesus Christ here on earth to die for our sins. And then he's all like, well, Felix, you already know that. Like, why aren't you living your life for him? And really... Like, I knew I should have be, I should, you know, I should have been living my life for him. I, but I just wanted to continue the, in the life of sin. And that's what many people do. They want to still continue with the life of sin. Of sin. They still want to listen to the to the music, you know, that that's going on, you know. Like, like, the music that's coming, that's popular nowadays is just talking about the complete opposite of what the Bible says to do, you know. It talks about drugs, sex, money, and like... You know, treating women like this or treating guys like this. Like, that's not it. That shouldn't be it, you know? And and he's all like, well, you know, do you want me to pray for you? And 
I was I was about to tell him no because I was you know embarrassed. I was gonna be embarrassed. But my dad, he was with me. He said, "Did you know in the Bible it says you know whoever denies me in front of man, I will deny in front of my father." And I just thought, and those words hit my heart because I was like, "Dang, you know, like, am I really gonna deny Jesus in front of people that I don't even know?" You know, and then. I just, you know, I started, you know, I told him, yeah, let's pray. And then, you know, ever since, like a month later, I've always thought about that day. And I finally decided to buy a Bible and to, you know, start reading it. And I just, I gave my life, I've been giving my life to Christ ever since I've repented of my sins. Because truly this world's becoming evil. And we are, and you, you see, you see what's it called um like the scientists are already talking about how we have like only less than 100 years left on earth and but i should tell you something you know like we're already living in the end of, end of time so the world's gonna be ending pretty any anytime soon i feel after judgment day after the seven years of the tri of tribulation of the antichrist here on earth but you know we, we're seeing so much evil in the world and so much you know dividedness like <laughs> people just not you know like people you know going against each other that it's that's not what how it is but the bible prophesies that it'd be like that and so time's running out if i'm being honest and jesus should be coming back anytime soon he's just waiting for many more souls to be saved you know he doesn't want to send anyone to hell at all like that's just I can't imagine that spending eternity away from him when you should be spending eternity with the creator, you know, the one who created you with, with detail, the one who knows how much, how many hairs you have on top of your head. Like I just recommend for everyone who's watching this video. If you're not saved to repent and, you know, pray for your sins, like, you know, asking for forgiveness truly, you know, and from, and and from this day on, just live your life for Christ and you will be granted eternal life. You know, I just, again, I can't imagine how it'd be without him. And I don't want to imagine that. Like the, wor the worst words you could hear from someone is probably him telling you, depart from me, I never knew you. Like, yeah, you'd be, yeah, you could claim, you know, I believe in him and this, but where's your relationship? Where's... Where's your faith with him, you know? That's what that's how he'll tell you, depart from me. I never knew you. You could claim all that, but did you really know him on your time here on earth? Like he's giving you so many chances. Every day you wake up is a chance to get right with him. And so many people die every day. People think, yeah, I'll just get right with him later. I'll just do late I'll just do it later. But like, no, you know, you don't know when you're gonna die. You don't know when's your time to go. Only he knows. But every day, again, every day you wake up is a chance to get right. And I just, through his through his grace, you will be saved, you know. He's a merciful God. He doesn't want to, spend, again, send anyone. But people have that choice, you know. People have that free will of either uh, dedicating their life for him or not. And God isn't going to force you to because he give you free will. He's he gonna he's gonna send you chances, you know, and throw little, you know, little letters at you and stuff like that. But it's ultimately up to you if you want to do that choice or not. But you know the consequences of that. Why is he gonna you know force you to spend eternity with him when you didn't even choose to dedicate your life with him? You know, like okay, you know, you chose you that you chose to not live for me. Then I'm a you know I'm not gonna force you to be with me in eternity. You know, I, I'm just going to, you know, send you and to an eternity away from me. But, and hell is not something you guys want to, you guys do not want to experience. Like, it's just um, weeping and gnashing of teeth, a lot of pain. It's, it's eternal damnation. And trust me, please, we're not of this world, you know. This world isn't is doesn't doesn't I guess matter. Like we're we're just living for a test, and the test is you know, 
you're either living for him or not and and once you do whatever whatever void whatever like yeah whatever void you have in your heart he'll fulfill it he'll he'll show you love he'll show you mercy trustworthiness and your life will do a whole 180 degree you just gotta have that faith that trust that love for him and i mean that's that's all i want for everyone like i don't want to see anyone spending eternity away from it at all truly i don't and that's why i'm making this video like whoever hears it i hope it inspires someone or or you know it touches someone's heart because I just I'm, I'm just doing my job. I'm just spreading his word. I'm just spreading what he's done for us, what he's done for me. And truly, he will change your life for the better. You know, the devil exists and he's just out there to deceive me to see who oh, I can't speak. <laughs> the devil exists. He's just out there to deceive anyone and everyone. He doesn't want you to with God. He wants you because he, he knows he's going to go to obviously he's gonna go to hell because god in the end of the days he will send him to the lake of fire and he wants as many the devil wants as many souls with him because he doesn't want you know anyone to be with god he doesn't want anyone to be saved but again jesus loves us so much he's willing to forgive anyone and he wants to he wants to save as many souls so just do it <laughs> like i'm telling you that's probably the best thing i could tell you guys i'm not trying to force anything on you guys but I'm just telling you guys this because I love y'all. And I don't want you guys to go through the worst. Because I've been through the worst already. And I don't want to go back. <laughs> you know. And, and I'm dedicating my life for him. And I've been doing it. And it's been, you know, it's been the best thing ever. My depression, my anxiety, all that has gone away. He's filled that void. And he will for you guys too. I love you guys. God bless you guys. You know, in Jesus' name, I hope. He touches your guys' heart. All right, guys. <laughs>